Hey guys, this is the kid from Natural by Nature 62, and I just wanted to come with a quick little video and a review of the Four Naturals Afro Stretch Curl Cream in Number Four Kinky Coiling. Now, this product says it contains no harsh alcohols, parabens, it's dye free, no petroleum, mineral, or silicones. And you know, since I'm following the Curly Girl method, I'm not using silicones right now. So, I used this with um, last night with the curl formers and um, on dry hair it was stretched because I had braided it previously and um, I just kind of wanted to see if the curl formers would work for me again because if you read my blog which is you girl girl naturally I'll put the link in the comments below um, I've been having issues with curl formers so I just decided to do it on stretch hair and said okay maybe this will work okay so these are kind of the results and I probably have to insert the picture too now it did make my hair really fluffy and really big um stretching it helps with that stretching the hair like braiding it all I did was just braid the four braids I kept my braid in the front and just um that stretched it out um and it was a little wavy so then I just from there that's when I use this and the curl formers and not in some oil to sew my ends since my ends some of my ends are colored you know they're really dry now um I'm liking this use of the curl formers better than I have in the past um, I'm not totally happy I was like maybe I'll just do some um get some of the rods and try the rods because maybe that'll help the curls and I suggest and I'm sure you've heard this a thousand times when you're using products like a curl former or a curly rod perm rods or whatever they call them or curlers you really 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 want to get your ends did I say really enough you really 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 want to get your ends as straight and as easy as possible because I think I would like this better if I had brushed my ends more but I'm really trying to be um gentle with my ends because of the color so um this this is my second time using this. First time I used it on wet hair just and, and I kind of um, shingled it through just to kind of see if it elongated. Um, this is the second time and I'm saying I don't like it. It leaves like a film. There's like a film on my hair and if you touch it you can you can feel it. It's I don't know what's in it that's um I don't know if it's the glycerin, maybe it's the shea, I'm not really sure, I haven't really had that reaction with shea butter before, but something in here is just basically sitting on top of my hair strands. Um, I'm going to give this one more try, I'm, I'm going to try this again probably after I shampoo my hair, I only shampoo it about once a month, um, I haven't shampooed it yet this month. Um, I think honestly the last time I shampooed my hair um, was when I did the deep conditioning omelet treatment um, which I think that was a couple weeks ago that was the last time I shampooed so I probably am not going to shampoo this month um, but if I do I'll use this again and I will um, come back and give you guys a review. So if you have any suggestions to me on how to get those in super smooth and like and gently smooth so I can use maybe the curl formers or some per perm rods again leave it in the comments below don't forget to like subscribe and you can follow me and Ike on Instagram at naturalbynature62 thanks again bye guys